What's up Dragon Nation? I'm Rich with Dragon Nation Gaming. Welcome back to Space Engineers. So today I kind of had to start everything over. Uh, the file that I was working on before had a problem with corruption. So unfortunately that world is gone and I got tired of trying to figure out how to get it back. So I just went ahead and started over but it looks like we're going to be working in the dark so stay tuned. So I think I have everything caught up. I did change a few things just to make it look a little bit better. A lot of people don't realize that when I'm building stuff in Space Engineers, when I'm recording it, what I build is just a prototype. At some point when I do put out a blueprint, I will go ahead and go into creative and kind of flesh it out just a little bit. Uh, make sure that everything is sort of organized and looks good. So this is the production facility, uh, facility. I think it works pretty good. I haven't really tried it too much yet, but we'll see just how it works out. Unfortunately, it's dark, so we can't really see anything, but eh, we should be fine. Also, another thing people kept telling me, I should go ahead and convey up our little ice miner over here. Well, the thing was, I needed an excuse to build the Hemet. I wanted a cargo truck to bring the ice back from our mining, uh, our mining rig? Ice rig. I think I just called it the ice rig. Not sure. But we needed a way of getting the ice from the ice rig to the base. That was the whole reason for building the Hemet. Without that, I would never have actually built it. It's something I wanted to build for a long time and I had an idea for it. I just never got around to it. But now that we have the Hemet actually built, I just went ahead and connected it with conveyors. Just save a little bit of time. Is this thing? Okay, there it goes. You just have to get right up on it to be able to hear anything. Let me actually check. We should still be... I don't really hear any... Hold on. Yeah, this guy's not filling up. I should still have ice. Maybe? No. Is it over here? There it is. Hold on. Let's say large. I think it was named 15. Yep, let's go ahead and pass it back over there. Why are the O2. Hold on. O2 generators. Let's go inventory, maybe. O2? Is it not O2? Hold on. O2. Yep, there they go. So yeah, they do have ice. They are processing, so we're good. I just got... I have to wait for everything to fill up, apparently. But we do have some power, so we're good on that. Uh, the only thing I need to do now is I need to dig into the side of this wall so I can go ahead and get some of the resources because I haven't collected any stone yet. But as you can see, I did add a few things and we'll get to that in a second. But let me come over here and show you guys what I want the tunnel to you know, sort of look like. So this right here is gonna be the opening of the tunnel. At some point, I will have gates, but the problem I'm gonna have with that is the space right here is gonna to be too big for the airtight hangar doors that we do have in the game. And unfortunately, if I tried to lower them, I wouldn't be able to get the Hemets in. And that's the whole reason behind the size that I'm building it right now. So what I usually do when I'm building a base is 
I pretty much keep to the same design because it's a pretty good design. What I do is we have the conveyor and then we put armor blocks around it, not only to make it look better, but it kind of protects it a little bit, especially when the hemis are driving around and they might crash into stuff. I don't want any of those conveyors breaking. And then I just, for when the conveyors split off, I just do this little piece right here. It's kind of like a hub. It's actually, it works pretty well. And I've used it in most of my bases. But what I need is... I'm going to have weapons on this thing at some point. At some point, we are going to have Gatling turrets. So I need a way of passing components all the way to the front of our base. To the cave. To the opening of the cave. The mouth of the cave. Whatever the hell you want to call it. So I needed the conveyors. So we have one conveyor right here on the left hand side. We have another conveyor here on the right. And then we have one on the top. Now I could find out a better way of do or a different way of doing this maybe by a welding ship or something like that but I decided why not just do it as we're digging through the tunnel. Now I could probably also do the armor ramps but I, that would be a little bit difficult. That would use a lot of steel plates. I don't know. No, that would give me an opportunity to get all the uh, armor blocks down where they need to go I think we'll come up with a different way of doing that but what we can do is go ahead and get all the conveyors laid with the inchworm one thing I forgot somebody let me know in the comments the uh, tether builder that I built in the past was actually called the inchworm completely forgot about it thanks for reminding me now we got the name back so all I need to do is I do need to change this thing out a little bit. I went ahead and put the uh, projectors in so that way I can uh, show you guys what this looks like. So all I've done so far is I added four projectors or I added three. So one for this side, one for the other side and one for the top. Now they're all using the same projection. I just had to change the distances and everything for them. Is there anything else that I changed so far? I don't think so. I think everything is pretty much the same. So now all I have to do is, well, let's do this one step at a time. So right here, as you can see, this uh, conveyor right here goes into the mountain and the drills don't actually cover that. So I'm going to have to add a drill here and I'll probably add another one right here. Also, what we're going to need to figure out is how are we going to get the welders to weld those hmm, projections. I guess this one right here, that one would be simple. All I have to do is come up and have the welder pointed that way. But for the ones on the side, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Now, remember in the episode where we were building this, we need sorters to separate the drills from the welders. Up here, that's what I'll do is I'll just put a sorter right here and then right above it, I'll put the welder pointing backwards. Down here, I could go ahead and go off of this conveyor junction. That's why I switched this out to a conveyor junction so I could do that. Probably what I'll do is, what's the best way of doing this? Can I just, Yeah, I think I could do that. I could just go ahead and put the welder's face in that way. Just bring a conveyor arm out to about right here. Now, I hope that won't drag on the rock or anything like that. I hope, I think I should be fine though. Maybe. We'll have to see. So, let me go ahead and try to get all of that done on my own real quick. All I need to do is add the drills and then add the welders and once I get those done we'll be right back alright so everything is in place I think we're good I just have to set everything up as far as groups uh, the timers and everything are already set up so all I have to do is add the drills and the welders to their specific group and hopefully that works so I don't have to mess with the timers at all so all I did was added this order so that allows components to pass through to this welder. There is a welder in there. 
There it is. And on this side, we just added this arm to the welder right here to weld these up. Now, I could probably figure out a better way of placing everything, but this should actually work for now. All we need to do now is, let's go ahead and go, oh, I just forgot about something. I have to add the uh, drills that I added to this thing. I have to add to the group for the rest of the drills, but I forgot we have drills on our ice miner or our ice rig, whatever the hell it's called. So I have to be careful not to add those ones. So let's go ahead and see if we could do this. Did I put all of these into a group? I hope so. Yeah, I did. All right, so drill. So all we're gonna do, since I did access the drill right here, I just need to look for other white ones. There we go. And there should be four. And we'll go ahead and save that group. So now, those uh, those drills should be added to the group and we shouldn't have to change the timer. There's one way to check though. We'll turn on the drills with that button and hopefully, yep, they did. They are on. Let's go ahead and shut those off real quick. Same button, turns them on and off. All right, so we're good on that one. Now I just need to add all the welders should be on the same grid, so all I need to do is look for the white ones. I don't think I have welders anywhere else, so I think we should be good. But let's try. And then we get to test this whole thing out. So one, two, yeah, I added three. And save. So that should turn on all the welders, hopefully. The only thing we have left to do is to try to test this thing out. But first, I won't be able to build because I don't have any components yet. We haven't grabbed any stone. So what we're going to have to do is we'll go ahead and turn on the drills. And then these pistons up here, which I actually have in a group called Pistons Lift. We'll go ahead and reverse those. So that way we can get a little bit of stone and the refineries and assemblers can get are they working? Yeah, they're being weird, but they're working. How about the assemblers? Oh yeah, it's loud. The assemblers are working, so I think we're good. Oh, and look at the frames. Yep, <laughs> they're definitely gonna drop a little bit. But let's go ahead and reverse those pistons. Put everything back. Oh, no, lift, there we go. Get everything back to the start. Yeah, the reason I'm having frame rate issues right now is because of the drills. There's just way too many drills on this thing. So that's one of the things I'm going to have to keep an eye out for. I could probably do a relog and that would probably fix the problem. But I think we should be fine. Just waiting for him to go back. So what we're looking for is we're looking to make sure that this projection, that projection, that projection, and that projection all weld up at the same time. And then we need to make sure that this thing actually does crawl. Is it ready? I think it's ready. Let's go ahead. The drills are on. Everything's ready to go. So now we're going to hit number two and see if the whole thing works like it's supposed to. And that would be a negative. It's not actually working. We need to stop this. Hold on, hold on. Uh, the welders did not actually turn on. Let's uh, stop this one. Uh, the lift pistons, we'll go ahead and reverse those. So yeah, these welders are on, but these ones... They are on. But it's not... Huh. Oh, 
I need to get rid of these. Hold on. Oh. Damn it. Okay, let's go ahead and turn off all the welders. Might be a good idea. How far back do we need to go? All the way to here. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and ground these down. I almost killed myself. Alright, so what we need to figure out is for some reason these welders... They are on, so the system is working like it's supposed to. Yeah, that's those ribbons are red. But the whole thing is not connected to the system. It should be, though. I mean, they are lit up, but we're not getting any components to the welders. We should be, though. They're, they are connected. So what I think I'm going to have to do... Oh, that is loud. Oh, you know what? I know what I did. Damn it. Isn't that just great? Alright, let's go ahead and turn this one around. That's that's my bad. And we'll go ahead and weld it up. I didn't have the access points connected. Okay, drills, while we're doing this, we're gonna have to shut you off. Yeah, it's definitely the drills causing the frame rates to drop. Eh, it is a lot of drills, so it's alright. But this one, that one is connected. So is this one, but why? Oh, you know what? Maybe. I think I got it. I don't actually have it connected right here. So what I need to do is let's go ahead and put a block right here. We need to go ahead and get rid of this conveyor switch it out for a conveyor junction ah. I knew that was gonna happen all right let's go into respawn real quick all right so did we place it I think we placed it let's go ahead and make sure all those damn welders are off so weld welders Oh, and I didn't have, I need to add that one. So, save. Did it save? Let's check real quick. So I should still have the group of welders, yep. Let me just double check and make sure. I think we're good. So let me go ahead and shut those off. All right, come here, welders. Off, there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and grab our body real quick. Make sure the welders are actually off this time. And... Why? There you go. And then we'll go ahead and finish that conveyor junction. I think that was the only problem. We just need to turn that one welder around. I wasn't paying attention when I placed it. And we need to add a conveyor junction here. We should be able to weld it all up. Alright. Now it's time to test this again. So, escape, save. All right, let's turn on all the drills, get ready for the frame rates to drop, and drills are on, and system running. All right, so it looks like everything is welding up like it's, maybe not. Nope, there it goes. Oh. That one did not. There it goes. This one did it. There it goes. What the hell? Yeah, that is kind of weird. I think the frame rate drop is causing a little trouble with that. Maybe not. Maybe... Yeah, the frames are dropping big time.
But it looks like it's all working like it's supposed to. Yep, it looks like it's all working like it's supposed to. It is building the conveyors. God damn, the frame rates are so bad right now. I think it's because of all the projections as well. The projections are going to cause some trouble. So let's go ahead and we'll make this thing stop when it's done for with the cycle. So all we're going to do is hit number four. And once it goes through an entire cycle, it should stop. And then I'll go ahead and do a relog just to make sure because I have been playing for quite some time. I've been trying to get this whole thing set up and it took quite a while. But I think everything is good. But now that we have everything set, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this into a blueprint. There we go. And I'm just going to go ahead. Am I in... I need to get into creative. We'll just go ahead and delete all of this real quick. And we'll just keep one of the Hemets. There we go. Now we're set. Let's go ahead and back into survival. And there we go. Holy shit, the frames. I'm gonna I'm gonna end up killing myself on this thing. Alright, is everything it looks like every whoa I just saw what the problem is look at this over here yep this guy is not happy looks like I turned on all the drills and wow okay you know what? I can rebuild this thing. Screw it. I'll just need to rebuild it. Uh, I'll go ahead and grind all that down and then just rebuild the whole thing. We shouldn't need it for quite some time, but we should have plenty of ice in here now. Oh yeah, we got 9 million. And there's the frame rate issue. The whole frame rate issue was because of that. Well, maybe not. No, now we're good. Yep, we're good. Alright, so now we're just waiting for this thing to get back to the starting position. And then we, I think we could call it good. Everything looks like it welded up like it was supposed to. Yep. Oh, and the projectors aren't on as well, so when those turn back on, we'll probably have that problem with frames again. But it looks like we are good. So yeah, once this is done, that will have all the conveyor systems that I need. We'll go in one kilometer. Maybe just a little bit more than a kilometer because I do need a little bit of room for the base as well. And it looks like I do need to change the timers. That took a little too long. There we go. A little bit of a wobble but it's not too much did I put yep share inertia ten tensor is on so we're good on that yeah I was a little bit nervous about this thing trying to put all this weight on it with the new a uh, couple more drills the welders the arm I was a little worried it'd be way too heavy and this thing would all shake apart. Why it messed with that over there, I have no clue. But it looks like everything's working like it's supposed to. So of course, it's about that time where we go ahead and do a little bit of a montage, see how this thing works out on its own for... I think I'll let it run for about an hour. If it could go an entire hour without a problem, then we could call it good. I could go ahead and get it into my creative world to get the blueprint out there for you guys. And then you guys could probably uh, figure out how to do other things with it. You could change the shape of the tunnel. You could add some more welders to put down armor blocks. If you wanted to go ahead and just finish off the entire tunnel. But I still don't know how I want to do that quite yet. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and get this thing. Oop. 
little bit of lag there. I think my... No, we're good. I thought the recording software crashed, but we're all good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and let this thing just run until it gets one kilometer inside the mountain. Once it's done doing that, we'll go ahead and get started on the next section. I want to let this thing run for about an hour. If it can run without a problem for an hour, then it's ready to put on the workshop. I'll get it into my creative world, just make sure everything is fleshed out and ready to go, and then I will put it on the Steam Workshop. Is there anything else? That's all I'm doing. I'm just trying to figure out, is there anything else that I need to do? I think we're good. But anyways, so yeah, next episode, we should have this whole thing dug out. We can finally start building on the main base. I have... I have some pretty good ideas for that, but we'll have to worry about that in some other video. Until then, make sure to like and subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Dream